I hope that you are not among the number who sling around religious jargon with no meaning. To say, I received Jesus means nothing until you have answered the question, as what? An unwelcome guest in your house whom you're going to poison? A person you had to let in because he wants to work on the furnace and you stick him down there and don't want to talk to him? There are all kinds of ways to receive Jesus that have zero effect on your eternity, except to make it worse. So the last point is, as what? Receive as what? And surely the answer to that question is, receive him as what he is. Not what you think he is or what somebody told you he is or what you'd like him to be, but as what he is. I'll give you one. There are many verses that describe what he is, like all of them almost. <laughs> but here's one, John six thirty-five. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. I'm bread. I'm, I'm water. If you believe, you receive me as that. Bread for your soul. Water for your soul. You got thirsts? You got thirsts? Ha! You got thirsts. Your heart is a thirst factory. You wake up with thirst, you go to bed with thirst, you enter one thing after, you got thirsts. You all thirst for a thousand things. And Jesus says, I am the kind of being that if you would drink here, your thirst would be satisfied. All of them. Or I'm food, and if you eat here, you won't have that gnawing craving that's ruining your marriage. It's wrecking your sex life. It's making you greedy and dishonest at work, just controlled by these cravings and these longings because Jesus is bread. And when you received him as six-year-old, you received him as a ticket out of hell you carried in your back pocket, and frankly, when you sit down, it makes you uncomfortable. That's not saving receiving. He's Christ, Son of God. Savior, wrath remover, sin forgiver, righteousness provider, soul satisfier, strengthener. Oh, what isn't he for us? 